Today I wanted to talk about a new bag that I'm trying out, the Sal Sankata Bug Out Bag. Hi, I'm Sean Kempel, the photo resident here at Online Creator Studio. On this channel, we create content on video, photo, and tutorials on Apple Motion, Final Cut, and Lightroom. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe. I want to preface this with the fact that I love my Peak Design Everyday Backpack, and that it will still remain as my all-around everyday bag. This bag isn't meant to replace that, and is in turn advertised as a working photographer's bag. This is the bag that you would use on an actual event or portrait shoot. There are a couple of pain points with the Peak Design bag that I've had um, while on a shoot, so I feel like this bag takes care of those problems. The bag is designed to hold three lenses. One of the lens pockets is deeper, which is for a lens like a 70-200. to It works great with the RF version in that you can even leave it in with the lens hood on. For the shorter areas, I've taken out one of the dividers so it can hold my Canon R6 with a 24 to 72.8 attached, which is my all-around lens that I use the most. At the top here is a place for business cards and a mesh pocket for various other things like lens caps and things of that nature. In the back there are three pockets for speed lights. I use 8200 Pros for my lighting and I can fit all three of those in here with no problem. There's also a slot back here that will hold a 13 inch lap laptop or in my case I put my iPad Pro. In the front is this little zippered compartment. This is known as the junk drawer. In here, I keep things like my light meter, cleaning cloth, flash trigger, and other random items. Then there's also two other compartments here where I keep an extra camera battery and some AA batteries for my flash trigger. Now onto the killer feature of the bag, which solves the biggest pain point I have with the everyday backpack, and that is switching lenses. While working, you'll want to leave the main flap folded over like this. That way, when you need to switch a lens, the bag has a feature called the lens swapper. This little magnetic piece comes up, and you can open it up, and a shelf pops out on the side. Now when changing lenses, you can put the lens in the shelf, grab the next lens, make the swap, and then close it back up. Here it is in action one more time. There's also memory card pockets here, making memory card switching easily as well. I've used this bag on a few shoots now, and so far I'm really enjoying it. What I'm finding is that it makes everything I need more accessible and quicker to get to, which is the exact reason why I decided to try out this bag. There's also a larger model that can hold a bigger laptop and some more gear, but I decided to stick with the smaller size to hopefully keep me in check and not bringing too much gear on a shoot, and try to stick with the essentials. The bag feels like it's made from good quality materials that will hold up over time. It's supposed to be weather resistant, but I know I'd be a little nervous in rain just because some of the uh, openings in the bag seem like water could get in. Overall, I'm glad I found out about this bag, and so far I would recommend it to others, trying to find something that works uh, better for paid work. It is currently on sale for $99, where the original price was $249. I'll leave an unaffiliated link in the description below on where you could purchase it and find out more. Let us know if you have a favorite bag you like to take on your photo shoots. Until next time.